there! Welcome to my channel, Cyber Technology. Today, I'm diving into something super practical that'll boost your project management and software development skills. It is use case. So, what's a use case? You might have heard this term thrown around in meetings, or maybe you might have read about it. A use case is a structured narrative that describes how a system interacts with external entities called actors to achieve a specific goal. It is a vital part of system analysis and design. Particularly in software development, helping stakeholders understand how the system will behave in real-world scenarios. Think of it as a narrative that outlines the steps a user takes to accomplish a task. There are a few key terms you need to know. These terms help understand and create effective use cases. Okay, let's break it down. First, we have the actor. An actor is an entity that interacts with the system. This could be a human user, another system, or a device. Actors represent roles rather than individuals. This will become clear after we look at an example. Second is goal. The goal is the desired outcome that the actor wants to achieve by interacting with the system. The goal drives the entire use case, focusing on what the actor needs to accomplish. Third are preconditions. Preconditions are the specific conditions that must be true or fulfilled before the use case can start. Fourth is the trigger. The trigger is the event that initiates the use case. It's what causes the use case to start, often an action performed by the actor. Fifth is the basic flow or main success scenario. The basic flow describes the most straightforward, typical path through the use case where everything goes as expected. It details the steps the actor and system take to achieve the goal. Sixth is the alternative flow. Alternative flow describes variations of the main flow, including scenarios where things don't go as planned. These could be minor deviations or entirely different paths that still lead to the goal. Seventh are the post conditions. Post conditions are the conditions that must be true after the use case has been completed. They describe the end state of the system and ensure that the goal of the use case has been achieved. Use cases can be tailored to fit different levels of detail depending on the audience and the complexity of the scenario. A brief use case provides a high-level overview, while a detailed use case offers a comprehensive description including alternative flows. Here's how a brief use case or simple format looks like. Use case name is log in. Actor is the user. Goal is that the user logs into the system. Precondition is that the user has a computer or smart device connected to the internet. Trigger is when the user enters a username and password. The basic flow includes 1. The system verifies the credentials. 2. The system grants access to the user. Alternative flow occurs. If the credentials are incorrect, the system displays an error message and prompts the user to try again. Now we'll look at a detailed use case or elaborate format. Use case name is purchase product. Actors are user or customer, e-commerce system, payment gateway, and inventory system. Goal is that the user purchases a product from the e-commerce website. Preconditions are that user is logged in and the product is available in stock. Trigger is user browses the product catalog and selects a product. Basic flow includes 1. User adds the selected product to the cart. 2. User proceeds to checkout. 3. User enters shipping information and selects a payment method. 4. The system calculates the total cost, including shipping and taxes. 5. User confirms the purchase. 6. The payment gateway processes the payment. 7. The inventory system updates the stock levels. 8. The system generates an order confirmation and sends it to the user. Alternative flow occurs when there is an invalid input. If the user submits invalid data, such as incorrect payment information or invalid address, the system displays an error message and prompts the user to correct the information. Post conditions are that the product is purchased, payment is processed, and the user receives a confirmation. See how flexible use cases can be? They can be adapted to fit any system or process. In summary, a use case is a narrative that outlines how a system and an actor interact to achieve a goal. It is composed of several key elements, including actors, goals, preconditions, triggers, basic and alternative flows, and post conditions. Together, these elements create a clear, structured representation of how the system should behave in various scenarios, ensuring that both developers and stakeholders have a shared understanding of the system's intended functionality. And that's a wrap. I hope this explanation has clarified what use cases are and how they can be applied. Next time you're mapping out a project, think in terms of use cases. They can help you visualize the user interactions and ensure that all scenarios are covered. It'll make your life a lot easier and your projects run smoother. If you've got questions or need more examples, I'm here to help. Drop them in the comments below. Your feedback and questions are always welcome. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Your support motivates me to create more valuable content. Catch you later. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious. Thanks for watching.